Good morning everybody and uh, welcome to the video. My name is Samal Shah and in this video I'll be talking and teaching you step by steps how to essentially move data from data lakes to Amazon Aurora Postgres. So we'll be guiding you step by step and showing you the process. So I hope you enjoy and uh, let's uh, get started straight in. All right, then let's uh, make our very first cluster, right? So I'm going to click on the orange button that says create database. Right? And we'll uh, spin up our first Aurora cluster. So here I'm going to click on, uh, it's fine, I'll leave it to standard create over here, right? And then I'll select my Amazon Aurora and I'll select the PostgreSQL compatible edition, right? Uh, I'm gonna click on the dev test because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to show you about that, right? Uh, the database identifier, uh, we can just say, uh, yeah, it's fine, we can just leave it to database too. Master name is Postgres, the password would be master. Uh, I'll, I'll just put this here. So this is gonna be my password, right? So I'll enter this password here, right? Confirm password, so I've done that. Then, uh, for here, we'll leave it to uh, memory optimized. That's fine uh, for now, uh, since I'm gonna terminate that pretty fast. Uh, in the connectivity se section, uh, let me see here. We have don't connect to an EC2 resource, connect to an EC2 resource, IPv4, dual stack mode. Um, so we'll leave that to default. And here I will enable public access over here, this button uh, over here. And that should be pretty much it. So everything else, uh, wait, I don't need monitoring. Okay, so that's fine. So now I'm gonna click on create database and uh, the database will be created. I'll essentially hop back once this database is created. As you can see here, the status is created. Okay, so once it's created, so my Aurora cluster is almost ready. As you can see, this it's available. And now let's try to connect that NPG admin. First of all, I'll put the URL here. Now let's click on create server. I'll name this as learn and in the connection section, put the host, uh, make sure the username and the passwords are correct. Um, I just did that, click on save and I am in. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm now connected as you can see. Uh, I can click here and I can see uh, um, there are two databases, right? Postgres and RDS ad admin, right? So yeah, so the first part is complete. Now, uh, what we're gonna do is we are gonna uh, create a table here, right? So uh, I'm just gonna say uh, create script, right? And here, uh, again, just for learning purposes, uh, as I said, right? Uh, on the Athena, I have a very simple, uh, let me show you first. So I have a very simple table called, you know, sawmill shot test where I have a name, number, etc. These are the fake data, right? So I want to load this data. This data is in the data lake and I want to essentially load it incrementally um, into my Amazon Aurora and Postgres, right? So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create that table in Aurora, right? So I'm heading over back to PG admin and what I'll do is here, I'll get this off put this one here and click on the play button. And as you can see, my table has been created, which you can see in the table section. So here I have a table called employees. Now, the next part would be just uh, configuring the glue. So let's uh, take a look at the glue. Uh, so we have been doing great, right? So far we made a Aurora Postgres instance, right? And uh, then we are able to connect it through PG admin. And now let's try to uh, make a glue connector, okay? So here again, um, my goal, end goal for the video, as I explained to you, right, is uh, I have a data in the lake. I want to make a pipeline that will uh, incrementally load data into my Aurora. That's 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 what I'm trying to do. Okay. So uh, fairly straightforward. Um, so now what you gotta do is you gotta come to the VPC. So first of all, um, you know, this is my RDS. Uh, here is the VPC. Right. So what you wanna do is come to the VPC uh, and. Um, you want to come to the endpoints. I already made one, but please make sure you create one. So click on create endpoint, give it a name, and then here search for S3. And then select the one that says gate and gateway, and then click on create endpoint. Please do that, uh, otherwise you'll have a um, hard time connecting to it. So once the endpoint is done, then I need to create a security group as well so that um, you know I can communicate. So click on security group, right? Uh, what you will see here is you will see a default. Um, you've got to create a security group. So you can click on create, put a name, select the VPC. 
And then here in the inbound and the outbound settings, what I usually did just for the learning purpose, I said all TCP, all UDP, and I essentially, if I could show you uh, pretty fast, uh, you details. So basically I just opened up everything right for now, just for learning purposes, okay? So I have made a security group called RDS security group, okay? So two things, again, just summarizing, number one, that is the endpoint, number two, create a security group. Once that is done, now we can um, create a glue connection or a connector. So we can come here and say, hold on, let me just delete all these old ones. Otherwise I'm gonna be like, ah, I don't understand what's this going on. So I'll delete the old one here, uh, just so that we don't confuse ourselves. Okay, so now click on create connection and we're gonna say RDS. All right, and then I'm gonna select here Amazon RDS. Okay, this is very important. And then here, uh, yeah, over here, you gotta select Postgres, okay? If you select RDS, you're gonna get an error. I, I tried it and that's I'm telling you. So RDS over here and here, select Postgres, okay? And uh, not Amazon Aurora, okay? So select the Postgres. Once that is done, select the database. Now, uh, we'll put Postgres here, right? and then the password that we uh, used while creating the cluster. So I'm gonna enter that, click on create connection. So now my glue connector is ready, right? Now I just need to create a crawler to crawl over my Aurora, right? Um, or essentially Postgres, right? So what, what this is gonna do is I have a table here, if you observe called employees. So the crawler will essentially crawl over that and identify the metadata or it's gonna catalog that, right? So now, uh, I'll delete these old ones, I, otherwise uh, I might get confused, right? So I'm gonna click on create crawler and then here we're gonna name this as RDS uh, crawl postgres. Okay, so I'm gonna say RDS crawl postgres, I'm gonna click on next and then here I'm gonna click on add data store and then here from the option I'm gonna select JDBC, I'm gonna select um, the connector that I said and here I'm gonna say Postgres slash modulo. That means that, hey, oh, Postgres slash modulo. So what this means is I'm saying that, hey, hey crawler, crawl over everything in the database and essentially uh, identify the tables that you found. Of course, you can exclude table if you want by providing a pattern there, but I don't need that. So I'm just gonna click on add, click on next. And here I'm gonna select an IM role. I have just given an administrative access for this. Um, then I'm gonna select my database as RDS and click on next and cl click on create crawler. So our crawler is ready. Now we are all set to run the crawler. Uh, let me uh, make sure I delete. Uh, let me just stop this one first. The start. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I just wanna uh, clean up this a little bit. So delete that one. Okay, so now uh, again, this is our crawler, right? RDS crawl Postgres, right? Now we're gonna click here and click on run crawler. So what this will do is this will um, basically uh, crawl over this particular database uh, called Postgres and it's gonna identify a table. I already have one, so it's gonna identify a table called employees and it's gonna show that uh, show me in the glue table. So it's essentially cataloging uh, that, right? So the metadata and essentially the schema it's gonna identify and it's gonna populate that under the database called RDS and I should see a new table shortly coming in. So I'm gonna wait until this crawler is complete. Here it is running. Once it's complete, I'll resume back. All right, all right. So if you observe carefully, uh, we got a table created, right? So my crawler has completed. As you can see, RDS crawl Postgres, one table created. If you go to the table, now uh, the table is there here. Now it's easy, right? So my data is in the data lake, right? Um, I can see, I can query my data in the data lake and I essentially wanna write a job to move data from here to Aurora. So that's actually a piece of cake, you know why? Because uh, <laughs> I can use Glue Studio. You can come here and click on create. I have already done that. And if you observe now, the source becomes your Glue catalog, right? So here RDS and I selected my S3 table, right? Um, again, this is a glue table, right? My data is in the S3, and then I'm applying a mapping here, right? And then my destination, again, if you observe, is the uh, table that was populated, or essentially, um, you know, I made a crawler, and the crawler essentially identified the table schema, right? And I'm selecting that as the destination. So now what this will do, if I click on script, it will automatically generate a 
Python script for me. That's super amazing, right? And here I can add the job name, the job details, and I'm using five workers, which is pretty much all I need for now, right? And then I'll click on save. Once uh, this is saved, I can run the job, right? I have already, um, I can run it again, it's not a problem. But if you go to the run section, you'll see your job has started. And now if you come back to Postgres, right? And if I query this data, as you can see, I have all my data, uh, which was there on the data lake, that is S3. So it's literally, 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 it's as easy as that. It cannot get easier than this, right? And I showed you step-by-step step how to do that. So we had the data in the data lake, right? This is our S3, S3. And then we essentially uh, used glue to move the data to Aurora PostgreSQL. So here, uh, we can come here and say, post, uh, yeah, that's fine. And we essentially used um, glue to essentially do the job, right? It was so easy, right? I strongly encourage you guys to try this lab out and um, let me quickly share my screen. Uh, hopefully it takes a second or two to load my webcam every time. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing walkthrough on moving data from Data Lake to Aurora, a PostgreSQL. Again, you can use any connector in Glue, right? So I hope this concept was clear. I hope the lab was clear. And I hope you're gonna try this out actually, okay? So make sure to share the video with your colleague because if they are trying to move data from A to B, uh, I, I, I strongly suggest to watch this video as this is a complete hands-on guide. It shows you how to move data much efficiently using um, AWS Glue. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed. Keep smiling, keep programming, keep learning, and I'll see you guys 